No way. Y'all gotta be kidding me. Yes, right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing? We got some crazy news today. Before we get started, give the video a thumbs up, like, like, destroy the like button. Let's get right to it. The internet is a funny, funny place. All of yesterday, all I kept seeing on Twitter was Xbox dudes comparing this game to this game returnal is about to come out in five days uh, xbox dudes are salty bro <laughs> first i have to say returnal is looking amazing we're gonna get back to returnal but we gotta talk about the comparisons and the madness that needs to stop right now Recor is being compared to Returnal. Dudes on the internet are saying all Recor is is a copy, a clone of Returnal. And I just had to all wanted to beat my head against the wall. I played Recor, bro. <laughs> I made it almost to the end of Recor. And had to stop playing. How do you make it all the way to the end to the end of a game and don't even want to keep playing it, bro? That's how unfinished and bad Recore was. I give Recore probably a six out of ten. I kept playing it because I kept wanting to like it, but I was like, no, nah, this is too much. Recore was an unfinished poorly managed game i say that because i can't fault the developers completely the developers a great pedigree of developers the developers that made past metroid prime games worked on recore but immediately the very first thing you see when you're playing recore is the horrible frame rate. yeah they patched it later but even the patch it still didn't optimize the game. Re the gameplay, the core of the gameplay, the frame rate, sporadic all over the place. Couldn't even go to 30 frames consistently. Just even this trailer, you could tell. The frame rate, the game launched before it was supposed to launch. This is where Microsoft should have been like, okay, this game is not ready. Let's wait. Because I believe this game launched at $39.99. That should have been a big red flag right there. When they knew they were advertising this game originally as a big triple A game, but had to backtrack and only launch it at 40 bucks, they knew this game wasn't complete. And it seems like as the story was progressing, it seemed like they just um, ran out of time. You could literally feel that while they were playing the game. You go to a point in the game where you're forced to just do backtracking and fetch quest after fetch quest after fetch quest as a filler to make you feel like the game had more content. Recore was a horrible game, bro. And should not ever be mentioned in the breath of Metroid because this game had potential. The core concept, pun intended, was dope. But the execution, the management of the game, you could tell, poorly managed, I blame Xbox. The game wasn't good. Now, why is this game being compared to Recore? The only reason I could see is because some of the shooting sequences. This right here. But bro, when you look at the gameplay, just the initial gameplay of this game, you can tell. And of course, 
we're comparing a 2021 release to a 2016 release. That's not the point. The point is they're already advertising this game as 4K 60 frames per second with ray tracing. They're letting you know this is going to be, when you spend $70 for this game, it's going to be a well-polished, well-managed game. More gameplay has been revealed for Returnal. The game looks amazing, bro. The more I see it, the more I'm like, whoa. Um, um, certain press outlets that have, have gotten hands-on with the game says, this game takes advantage of the dual sense. When it's raining, you feel the rain droplets on the controller, the mechanics, the 3D pulse headset that comes with the PS5. Um, I haven't been using this because of the microphone is trash, but the actual audio, you're gonna be able to take full advantage of the audio, the, the perception. They're saying like when you're walking through the grass, like you hear the foliage through the 3D audio, crazy stuff please please stop with the recore returnal comparisons one game was poorly managed rushed to market horrible frame rate unfinished game the second game and i'm confident saying this is going to be i Hey, somebody, if this doesn't happen, go back and be like, Obi-Wan, you were wrong, bro. I guarantee you, Returnal's Metacritic will be higher than um, Recore's Metacritic. Let me look at Recore right now. The Metacritic is a 63. It stands at a 63. Right now, it's a 63 on Metacritic. I guarantee you, Returnal is going to be probably 8 or 80s, 8 or 9, 8 or 9, um, in the 80s or 90s for, for Metacritic. The game just looks dope, bro. You, I have radar for good games, bro. When everybody was hyping up Cyberpunk, I kept telling the internet, hold your horses. Nobody would... I mean, I'll be spot on with this stuff, bro. I could spot a good game a mile away. And so, Housemark, this game looks like it's going to be phenomenal. I'm going as far as to say. Now, I can't outright say it because I haven't actually played the game. But, there are heavy Metroid. That's why I have the Metroid right here. Heavy Metroid comparisons with this game. Of course... This is a roguelike game, so it's going to be a little, it's going to be different. Whereas you die, you got to start over and the gameplay mechanics. But the atmosphere, the isolation, the alien planet, the enemies, the female protagonists, the crashed ship, the mysterious signal she's getting, all of, she looks like, if Samus Aaron, if Samus was about 15 years older, that's what this looks like. This, I'm telling you, this game is Metroid Prime 4. What? <laughs> I know. Hey, I'm getting Xbox and Nintendo fans, dude. Madden one video. Only Obi one plays. Bro, this game could give me my Metroid feel. Nintendo took too long with Metroid Prime 4. And so Sony's like, we got you, bro. We're going to give you your Metroid Prime fail, bro. That's what they're doing. All right. Did I get enough fanboys, man, in, this, in one video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro. Oh, I had a different bro because my software restarted. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All oh, things gaming. Bro, we out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. 
I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the slag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.